when I opened this, I was like, what the heck? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dioyes, and on my channel, I teach you guys everything you need to know about lash extensions. So if you are new here, I do have a couple series on my channel. <laughs> I categorize my channel in different sections that way you guys could easily find certain videos so I do have a series called Lash Babies Killing It where I sit down and interview other lash artists and talk about their journey their struggles their dreams their goals all that that way it could give you guys a little motivation if you guys are struggling I do lash vlogs too I try to do them weekly every week but it was too much to keep up so I'm doing it kind of random here and there and I also started a new series where I pretty much review products for you guys i don't know if that's what you call series but let's just go with it <laughs> so for today's episode i did have a company reach out to me so i am super excited because it is a pretty big box like when i opened this i was like what the heck i wish i would have waited but i got like super excited they specifically didn't say they wanted me to do a video they just wanted me to try the product so i figured why not let's do a full-on video about it so again i'm gonna have everything linked down below the actual website since this is a lot of products i figured i would just do um just the website alone i'm not affiliated with this company at all so everything that i am mentioning i will do a test run after this i actually do have a client right after this so i'm gonna try out a few of the products i am super super excited about this company because they sent me quite a few stuff i got a little excited and went ahead and opened it but i wanted to show you guys anyways so can we just talk about the size of this box it is big like to start off can we talk about this shirt oh my goodness look how cute it is if you guys don't already know, I am like obsessed with cheetah everything and it says lash, hashtag lash life. This is a large. Normally I get a large to be like comfy because I love being comfy all day every day. But this thing is pretty huge. I think this is like a large and men's. Pretty big. I'm going to be comfy AF. <laughs> but this shirt is just so cute oh my goodness i can't i can't with this it is just so cute okay so now let's jump into the actual box okay so i'm just gonna go with whatever i get first the first thing that i see is this i believe this is the glue yeah it's a tweezer cleanser and i've been seeing these everywhere like all over social media and I was going to get one from another brand, but I am really glad that they ended up sending me one. But it is pretty much a tweezer cleaner. Say you ended up getting say you ended up getting some glue on your tweezers while you were trying to make a fan. You pretty much just dip your tweezer in here and pretty much wiggle it around. As you can see, there's like a little fiber ball in there. I don't know what you would call that. And you pretty much just wiggle it around in there and it removes glue from your tweezer i don't know about you guys but i tend to get like sometimes when i do get glue on my tweezer i'm like sitting there trying to scrape it off with my nail and if you do have acrylic nails it ends up filing down your nails and it's not cute so this right here is definitely going to be a huge lifesaver so again right after this i do have a client so i'm going to be able to try out some of these products for you guys and i'm going to be recording it so i am going to have a full-on product review in the next video so the next thing i see is this d curl 0.03 and the mixed tray which goes from 7 to 16 millimeters and that's actually pretty crazy because most lash trays start from a 9 millimeter and go up to 15 millimeter Ooh, these are soft guys wow they're black too oh my goodness princess lash hey girl and they're really curly too i don't know if you guys can see that but that curl is really really nice and then she also sent me an m curl no way <gasps> what these are so cool okay she sent me an m curl in 0 0.03 in sizes 7 through 16 millimeter and i don't know about you about you guys but i've been wanting to try out m curl lashes m or l and these are just 
crazy how they just point straight up i am dying there's this certain look that i've been dying to do where it's like it's a d curl all throughout the lash line and at the end you add a couple of m or l curls at the end and it gives it this extreme cat eye i've been dying to do that look for you guys so i am super excited about this because back not too long ago i ordered some l curl lashes from another brand and they were a huge disappointment and i'm not gonna name the brand but it was so bad where i don't know if they were easy fan lashes but they were just not doing it for me so i am like super excited about these okay next thing they sent me was some glue rings and the packaging is really cute has a little crown on there so this glue rings look pretty cool i'm not gonna lie they look pretty cool you guys know i don't like glue rings to begin with but these are just shaped differently like i i don't think i've ever seen glue rings like this but it's a flower cup if you guys don't know i prefer flower cups over anything but it is a glue ring and i am like terrified of getting glue all over my clients because i've heard horror stories and even way in the beginning when i try to use glue rings it just it's pretty scary for me <laughs> but i'm gonna give this a try i feel like i move a lot when you know i'm lashing and i don't know it just doesn't feel safe but i love the fact that it is a flower cup so i'm gonna give this a try and see how i like them because i know a bunch of you guys do like glue rings i'm gonna give those a try i should get like over the fear of getting glue all over my clients oh and it came with a no <laughs> it says dear yoyis thank you for this cooperation with you we hope you enjoy the goodies 2d glam classics and light volume just the tip only and barbicide to prevent color coding from tweezer coming off use code yoyis slash beauty for 15 percent off so i'm gonna ask them and see if that code is just for me alone or for you guys uh because i don't want to give you guys a code if it wasn't meant for you guys so i'm gonna message them after this and ask them if not i am sorry guys hopefully that code is for you guys if not it's totally fine but i will get back to you guys and if i did end up getting that code then i will have it here for you guys or i will put it in the description box for you guys okay so it says happy lashing day Nguyen. i'm sorry i feel like i never know how to say that <laughs> hashtag princess lash la so her name is day i think that's what it is day so cute thank you day um, so again, I'm going to ask them and see if that coupon code was for me. If not, then I'm sorry, guys. Oh my goodness, they sent me some more of my favorite brushes. So I was actually running out. I placed an order of these a while ago, like a month ago. And for some reason, it got canceled. I don't know what happened. Um, but if you guys don't already know, these right here are my favorite little brushes to use for my sealer. So they're like little bristles. They're like little bristles. It's not like a full-on lipstick applicator. These are called Hauschnitt. I think that's what they're called. That's how I found them on Amazon. Um, they're called Hauschnitt. They're a little weird and they're really, really hard to find. But these are my favorite sealer brushes. So I am so glad that they sent me some more. Honestly, you could use these for whatever, primer or sealer. But I prefer to use these for sealer. And then the next thing they sent me is a 0.05D curl mix tray and wispy easy fan wispy easy fan you okay mamas you okay you want to say hi to youtube wait 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 i know i know i know i know hi mamas hi mamas so this is my nala licious <laughs> her name is nala and we call her nala licious She's a little brat though. She sent me a tray of their Wispy Easy Fan. And I believe they're like mixed lashes. So a few of them are 8, 10, and 12. 9, 11, 13, 12, 14, 16. So I believe these are like already Wispy lashes. So it has a different mix within each strip, as you can tell. 
but I am not a big fan of Easy Fan Lashes. I am going to give this a try just because it's always good to try out different products. But I'm going to see how these work for me and see if they make it so much easier to do wispy sets. Because you guys already know I'm all about the wispy sets. So I'm going to have to give these a try for you guys. But they look pretty nice. Oh, they sent me some pink ones. Okay, I believe on their website they had like a couple different iPads. So she sent me some pink ones. And hopefully I like these because I did order some pink iPads from Amazon and I don't know, not my favorite. I feel like Amazon has been letting me down lately. Like lately. I don't know what it is. But um, she sent me some other ones. Does it have any writing on them? Um, but I believe these were the green ones. I think they had green iPads too. But I'm going to see what they're all about. And I'll give you guys my feedback on them. They sent me some Oh, these are actually pretty nice. So they're all black. And as you guys can see, they're not like regular spoolies that I'm used to. These are like more plastic. I don't know the actual term for them. I'm going to have to go on the website and find out because they feel a little plasticky. I like the shape. They look like a, a teardrop kind of. Really nice. I'm going to see how I like these because I normally stick to like the regular bristle ones bristle whatever you call them but these are actually pretty cool i'm gonna check them out for you guys the next thing they sent me is their pineapple scented adhesive what okay so i tried banana scented glues before and they smell amazing not gonna lie like it's bad to smell them but i just have this thing for like if it's scented i want to smell it so don't mind me all i smell is my hand sanitizer my hand sanitizer smells like oranges and that's all I smell. I probably shouldn't be smelling it. I know that's bad. Hello. There you go. The packaging is super cute. I like the little pineapples. So cute. And then they did send me another glue. Nola is a classic volume and mega volume. I feel like this one's going to be my favorite just because I prefer one second dry time glues. But... I love the teal packaging. Super cute. Low fumes. Can't wait to try them. Got so many products to play with, guys. I am so excited. They sent me a couple of their pre-made fans. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. So not gonna lie, I feel like I'm more excited about their 2D fans over their 10D fans. 3D fans and tendy fans so let me show you guys the tendy fans first they're pretty much basic tendy fans that you can find within like most companies and these are the 0.05 dmix so she sent me a big tray of 8 through 11 and 12 through 15 which i am so glad that they send it to me this way because normally when you buy a mixed tray of fans of pre-made fans i don't like that there is like so little like one or two strip of like an eight nine ten eleven like the basic numbers that i normally use and then they have like three or four strips of like the bigger links that i don't normally use you know so i like that they sent me two other trays because it comes with four strips of each length yeah it comes with four so i'm gonna get some pretty good use out of these fans and as you can tell it comes with four strip for each number and i love that because i'm able to get more use out of it because normally i run out of the shorter lengths faster than i would with the longer lengths so i got two of those which is the short lengths and the long lengths so i am excited about these if you guys want me to do a full on video on just a full set using pre-made fans let me know down below and i will get that up for you guys if you guys want to see specifically these ones let me know and i will get a video for you guys because these look pretty nice i'm actually going to do it for you guys i think that would be a great video for you guys because i know a bunch of you guys have been asking me anyways so the next pre-made fans are the 2d ones and these ones i'm actually pretty excited about because these will be so perfect to use for i don't know if you guys can see that 
these will be so perfect if you're trying to do a classic set but want them fuller technically it's called a hybrid because when you add fans to a classic it's considered a hybrid set but since these are 2d fans it's not much of a difference and these are 0.10 so technically they are classic lashes there is two lashes two little lashes within each fan so technically if it's a 0.10 i consider it a classic and if it's two if it's two point tens in one fan, that means it's a point twenty fan. I am gonna be using these today just because they look so interesting, and I feel like maybe I could get I could use these to create a fuller classic look without taking away from that classic, you know, the classic look. Um, I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me how do you make a classic lash, a classic full set look fuller. First of all, if they don't have that many lashes, there's no way around it. And I feel like maybe this is your answer right here. I know a bunch of you guys have been telling me that you're adding fans to your classic set to make them look fuller but in reality that's a hybrid set you can't consider that set a classic but you can get away using these on a classic set like just look how beautiful they are they are 2d fans and i just feel like no one will know anyways <laughs> I'm gonna play around with these and I'm gonna do a video on them because they just look so light and soft and they're gonna be able to make your classic sets look a lot fuller without making them look dramatic and more full like a hybrid set so stick around stick around you guys definitely want to see a different version of a classic set technically it's a hybrid but I'm just gonna go with it and call it a classic set because you know that's the whole point of having fun doing lashes so don't come at me and say this that's that's a hybrid set i know i know i'm just showing you guys how to get classic sets to look fuller without still making them look like a full hybrid set you know okay so the next thing they send me are tweezers i'm actually super excited about these oh my goodness i am super excited about these so the first one they sent me are these blue ones with little lashes i don't know what these ones are called i'm gonna have to look them up on the website but they have little lashes and it has a ruler oh my goodness there we go i've actually been wanting a tweezer that has a ruler i was gonna buy one a while ago and i completely forgot about it what the heck i love that it has a little ruler obviously the whole point of measuring your client's lashes is that way you can figure out how to keep them healthy like you definitely don't want to be adding 20 millimeters on a five millimeter lash that is like a big no-no i love that this came with a ruler that way i can actually measure my um client's lashes if you guys if you guys want a full video on how to how to determine what length to use on your client's lashes, let me know. I I do have it on the list because I have a list of like all the type of videos that I want to make. I feel like that is very very important. Like I said, you don't want to be adding 20 millimeter lashes to five millimeter lashes. That is just like ridiculous. So this tweezer is super cute, and I love that it has little lashes on it, and the tip. It actually reminds me of one of the tweezers that I mentioned in my tweezers video. But these will be perfect for classic lashes. I'm going to try them out and see what they're all about. And give you guys my honest opinion about them. The next one they sent me. I'm excited about this one. This one looks really aesthetically pleasing. Like something about just like an all matte black tweezer with a gold tip. It's just like damn girl. <laughs> these are so cute look at these super cute it's like matte black super cute with the gold tip and it does have that tip that i love so i feel like these ones are gonna be my new favorite oh just look at that grip i am for sure gonna be using these on that video that i'm gonna be doing for you guys again i don't know the names of the tweezers i'm gonna look at the website and figure it out for you guys the next tweezer is the one that i am the most excited about because if you guys don't already know my favorite color right now is the lilac color and when i saw these i'm like girl <laughs> I need to have these. These are just so cute. That color, ah, oh, so cute. These are gonna be my new favorite. They're just so cute. They're so cute that I feel like I don't even wanna damage them in any way. Like I feel like putting them in my acrylic case and just displaying them and not letting anything happen to them. Like these two right here are just like, 
Do you even want to use them? Yes. Do you want to mess them up? No. Do you want to store them away so everybody can look at your pretty tweezers? Yes. <laughs> Super cute. So I'm excited to try these out. And the last thing that this sent me came in this cute little case. And it has like a little cheetah print. They did set me their lash palette. Uh, it's like a magnifying um, lash palette, like a magnifier lash palette. Um, but the thing is that they didn't send me an actual lash palette to try out with this. They only sent me the thing. So I will have to purchase some of the lash palettes to see how it works. But it's pretty much magnetic. I love that you could put your tweezers on here and your lash palettes and they won't be sliding all over the place. I do have an issue where when I put my trays on my acrylic um, pillow tray, they tend to slide all over the place so i use glue stickers or glue dots to hold my trays in place so i feel like this will be easier for me that way things are not sliding over all over the place so this is definitely a must i'm gonna have to go to their actual website after this and purchase some lash tiles because i didn't get any which is okay which is okay i love that i'm still able to show you guys that it is magnetic and you can put your tweezers your lash tiles um overall it's a great purchase if you are you know struggling with your stuff moving all over the place all right guys so that pretty much wraps up today's unboxing for princess lash i am going to be doing a part two where i review the products and do a full-on demonstration on them i'm thinking of doing like a classic lash but i just realized they didn't send me any classic lashes to try out for you guys so i am thinking i might have to mix them up I might have to mix them up. I don't know, guys. I will have to see what I come up with because I originally wanted to do a classic set to look fuller. Um, but again, they didn't send me any classic lashes, which is totally fine. So I might have to play around with another brand to kind of mix it up for you guys. Um, but overall, everything they sent me, it looks so nice. The lashes look nice and matte black, which is what I love. But if you guys are interested in seeing a full video on these pre-made fans, let me know. I would love to do that for you guys. These pre-made fans look really, really nice. Um... And if you guys want me to try out any of their other lashes, let me know, which most likely I will. I am excited about that L, that M Curl Lash. Um, but overall, I am super excited about trying out this brand. The products look amazing. So thank you, Princess Lash, for reaching out to me and wanting me to try out your products. Um, I know you guys weren't expecting me to do a video on you guys, but I still wanted to do it because it's fun unboxing. And I know you guys like watching my unboxing videos. So make sure to stick around for the next video, which is part to on me actually trying out this brand i will not be doing a full product review where i sit down and talk about oh this this was bad or this was good because i don't like bashing on companies like that the last uh, video that i did on a product review was for vi's vi lash factory and you guys were asking how did it go like did i like the products and if i'm gonna do a follow-up videos so i am not doing follow-up videos for my product reviews i am pretty much just doing unboxing and try-ons in the videos where i actually do the try-ons i will give you guys my honest review while lashing so when i mention that this product is good throughout the video that is my review for you guys so if you guys do want to know what i thought of these products make sure to check in the video description box because i'm going to have a little section where i say this was my favorite thing or like you know little things like that i am not going to say something was bad just because I just I'm not that kind of person so if you guys do have a certain item that you guys were really interested about um, comment in my video hey did you like this and I'll let you guys know but I am not gonna bash other companies in my videos that is just not what I do so for the next video I am gonna be doing a full-on product review but keep it nice that's what it is <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much wraps up today's video if you guys did like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you are new here make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys don't miss out on future lash videos product reviews interviews with other lash artists lash vlogs all that good stuff <laughs> i know i got so much going on in my channel that's why i'm trying to keep you guys entertained because i have so much going on so you guys definitely want to be subscribed so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.